sitting with Elder Vern Harper. Um, Vern, describe your heritage. Uh, describe who, who, are, who are you? Uh, who are you? Yeah. My name is uh, Sin, and uh, my uh, English name is uh, Vern Harper. But my traditional name is uh, Sin. I'm Cree, and I'm recognized as an elder by my people. And I live in Toronto, but my uh, reserve is in Saskatchewan. And, uh, tell, us, tell, tell us what you're doing there at, on your reserve next week. Yeah. Uh, if everything goes well, on Friday morning I'll fly out to Saskatoon, then I'll drive out to my reserve. It's the north of Saskatoon in between North Battleford and Prince Albert to northwest. And uh, my, I'm the fifth generation grandson of Miss Wasses. Uh, Mr. Mr. Wasses is uh, my Muslim great grandfather. I'm fifth generation and I'm taking my daughter with me, son-in-law, and a grandson. And the grandson is the Cumsee, who's named after a famous chief. He's eight years old and uh, he's never been there before. And when we go there, he'll be meeting his relatives. But the very important part of it is going there. There's a big celebration, powwow, everything. and what uh, we're going there to uh, pay respects to my great, great grandfather, Moshon, Mr. Wasis. And there's a prophecy before he passed over. Uh, he made a prediction. He said, in, uh, in my seven generation grandchildren are going to when they come, they will make the difference. They will make the difference. And, uh, and Tecumseh is uh, his seventh generation grandson. And, and there's many more of the of young people that are his generation. So the prophecy will be starting to unfill of uh, and we have uh, myself and my wife have, and his mother has taught him from childhood to honor the culture and uh, and he's uh, he keeps his hair braided. He uh, uh, his mother is traditional, and we live in an urban setting, but we try to follow our culture the best we can and. Uh, we're going to go to the gravesite and the monument where Mr. Wass is on the reserve and do a ceremony and pay respects to uh, Mr. Wass. But the prophecy is I'm fifth generation. In my generation, it was, I was told we would almost, almost lose everything. And I was born into that where I, my people of my generation we were put in the residential schools, foster homes. We lost, a lot of us lost language, lost. And so, and that was part of that prophecy saying that, they, that we would almost lose everything. That's very important, almost, because we haven't. In fact, now that the Kumsi is in the seventh generation, me and others can see that, we can see the change. We survived, we survived. The, the, the plan was by this time that we would be assimilated into the white culture and, uh, uh, and that hasn't happened and it won't happen. We'll, we will survive as a, as a race of people and, uh, and we will, our responsibility always was to take care of the land and the land would take care of us. And we're still there. That's why it's important for us to hang on to the reserves and take care of the land. Mm -hmm. But now, us serving Indians in the cities, we need to get our thing together and support our people that are living on the reserves. 
third world country people. They come here and they work hard and they send money back and hope, you know, support their ones living wherever they came from. Our, our people are so just trying to survive. We always just have to take care of ourselves. But now we have educated you know, people. We've got lawyers, doctors, everything. And we, we need to take care of ourselves. And, and, uh, you know, and that's what we're trying to do. But our, our families are, it's all about families. And that was the purpose of the residential schools and the foster homes was to break up our families too. And it almost destroyed us. And, uh, but we've survived it. And uh, today I'm actually doing, sitting, I'm gonna in a few minutes or 10 minutes, I'm gonna be doing a circle. And we're all of us in this native circle as the native we are survivors of the foster homes, residential school, our families, everything. And as uh, I was told by my uncle that it's going to take a few more generations to totally heal. But we will, and we are healing, and we are survivors.